Hi, I'm Andy, and I'm one of the technology partners behind uh, Filthy. We've been getting a lot of questions online about why is the material white, or is it three layers, or two layers, or how does it work, all sorts of stuff. So we're going to take a quick second and address all these questions and concerns in one video. So hopefully that by the end of this, everybody will be brought up to speed, and you'll understand why the material is the way it is, okay? So this is Filthy's face mask material. The spec we make this to is 95% efficient at 0.3 microns. And there's three distinct layers of this product. There's a spun bond, a nanofiber, and then there's a what they call a spun lace or another type of non-woven over the surface of that that gives it uh, some depth filtration. We've had people peel it apart and say, I can only see two layers, or this only looks like there's two layers, or it looks like one layer. If you zoom in, I'll give you an explanation as to why that is. This layer here is a spun bond, and all that spun bond's doing is basically a carrier for our nanofiber, and it's also the skin side of the product. On top of the spun bond is nanofiber, and I don't know if you'll be able to see there's a slight color transition here where I've actually removed all the nanofiber here. You guys gotta remember when you're dealing with nanofiber, we're talking something that's 100 nanometers in diameter. You can't see that. It's there, it's doing all the efficiency work, but you're not gonna be able to see it with your naked eye. You can see it under a skin and electron microscope. So layer one spun bond, layer two is nanofiber. Nanofiber is doing all the efficiency work. Layer three, this is your spun lace. What this is doing is it's giving it some depth and pre-filtration so not, not every big particle goes straight through and gets caught on our nanofiber. These little dots, and people call them holes, we've had all kinds of questions. Those are ultrasonic bond points where we've bonded all three layers together so you end up with a solid construct.